I think I should be the one ride sharing, right? <laughs> Sitting by myself. Hey everybody, it's RJ. <clears throat> I hope you're doing well. I hope life is giving you everything you need. Um, <clears throat> sorry about the scratchy throat. I think I'm coming down with a cold actually, but uh, the reason I wanted to reach out is to, you know, number one, surface again and let you know, yeah, we're still out there. We're still doing our thing. Uh, you know, we got some new information, always digging. Uh, you know, it takes time sometimes to vet some of the stuff that we get in to see if there's any credibility to it or not. Uh, you know, as everybody knows, I am not satisfied with the status quo. That doesn't mean that I am some sort of tinfoil hat. It just means that I am not convinced that the evidence supports what the hearsay is. And that's what it is. When a bunch of people talk about it, it's hearsay. When one person gives evidence and he's not credible, still hearsay, okay? So anyway, and you know, by the way, I am sick and tired of the damn Chewbacca Live thing. Okay, that's just getting old, okay? One picture, oh, Chewbacca Live. And you got these rags like the Daily Mail and, and, and the Guardian and the UK rags. And you know, at one point I thought that they were serious about the information that, that was coming in. And I thought that they were serious about publishing you know the truth and stuff like that and you know and, and sadly they just don't give a shit what they publish they they'll publish anything if it's got Tupac's name on it they'll publish anything and and that's just you know not not doesn't do them any favors as far as their credibility anyway I got an idea and I wanted to run it past everybody real quick I'm gonna keep this video short because short videos are easy to watch um, I'm thinking about doing a podcast and I'm thinking about doing a podcast. You know, I've spent 10 years working on the Tupac assassination movies. I've been working on books, DVDs, other people's documentaries. Don't forget, you know, I've participated in probably half a dozen other projects and documentaries regarding Tupac and Biggie that I myself didn't see any benefit from. I didn't see any money from, you know, maybe one I did. But uh, other than that, you know, mostly it's not a money-making proposition to be in the world of Tupac documentaries. <clears throat> At any rate, I've been thinking about doing that. You know, sometimes you can talk on a podcast and you can talk about the stories. And if you say that they're hearsay and they're hearsay, then you tell the story and it's hearsay. and hasn't stopped anybody else from doing it. So I'm thinking about actually doing that because as you guys might know, I've got thousands of stories that I can tell about Frank Alexander, about the, uh, any of the other players involved. I can talk about what my personal experiences with them are. Uh, it's something that I haven't ever done before because I pretty much just tried to keep most of the conversations that I've had with people, what I know about people, what, what I've heard about people, things like that all under wraps because sometimes when you're doing these documentaries and that you know you, you you they're helping you get information or they're helping you with the case and they do that you know, this, this isn't going to be a gossip thing it's not going to be a uh, you know get the dirt on somebody thing but it's simply there's just a lot of stories out there that surround the whole thing and it's something we don't get into something we don't talk about and i thought maybe because i've been dealing with all these things you know for 10 years i mean you got to understand that uh you know my relationship with Frank took me to a lot of places that, you know, we don't talk about or we haven't talked about, uh, but still deal with the people, places, and things of interviews that we've done, uh, situations that we've gotten ourselves into. Anyway, you know, I, I don't know. I, I've never really given it much thought, never really thought it had a lot of value to it, but I was talking to some people the other day, and they said, you know what, RJ, man, you got a thousand stories. Uh, it would be great if you, you know, you told your stories and figured out a way to put it out there. YouTube uh, is really bad right now because of the cancel culture that, you know, if somebody doesn't like what you're saying, they try to community guidelines strike you, and it's become this whole strategic way of, you know, making sure people don't say what they say. Podcasts are a little bit different uh, in their structure and their setup and how they, how they work. So um, anyway, I'm thinking about doing it in that format. Yeah, you can't see this beautiful mug here. You can't see my beautiful face on YouTube, but you know, um, maybe we'll figure out a way to do both. I don't know, but, but at the same time, I'm thinking about doing it. Let me know if that sounds like something that you guys might be interested in to see if there might be some stories that you'd be interested in hearing. And by the way, if we're gonna do it that way, um, 
hit me up with some questions, hit me up with some story ideas, uh, you know, in rumors or whatever, whatever, and let's see if we can't kind of knock them out. That'll give me some ideas for uh, from some of the uh, topics that we might want to go over. Anyway, so that's it from here. Um, coming down with a bit of cold, like I said, sorry about the scratchy voice. It sounds really bad. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm back in the car again and, you know, we're literally, uh, we're, we're, we're literally not going to where people sit, sit there and say, oh, RJ, you're, you're driving. It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. Actually, the truth of the matter is, is that we are like literally going nowhere while we're doing these videos. Okay. See that? There it is. Okay. We are going nowhere while we're doing these videos. So anyway, uh, I hope that y'all are doing well and, uh, we will catch you guys soon. Uh, coming to you next time we talk. Thanks. Bye.